Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back, Evil Genius 2. I hope you're having a great day today. We have some things to do today. Oh yes, absolutely. A couple of things. One, Moments Calm is coming. We're gonna get that last piece of loot, steal the sword on the world stage. But the other thing I'd like to do is, um, I, I kind of want to see, I want to test theory. I have a theory, okay? An agent has now, been captured. I want to see if it's possible to control minion movement. Okay, now, this little thing here where everybody's going through the trap area, this is cool and all, right? Because they have to get back to the back of the base, but what if they didn't have to, right? Now, I don't think there's any way to stop guards from, like, patrolling this corridor. I think they're going to do it anyway, to be honest. But if I can get valets to stop doing it, that'd be cool. Now, up until this point, I've been under the understanding that it's kind of not possible to truly control where these minions go because you can't designate permissions on a room-by-room -room basis. However, what you can do is you can make doors a bit more of a hassle to go through. And I'd like to test a theory that I've got where if I make it much more difficult to get somewhere, maybe they'll take a longer route to someplace else instead of going through the door. Basically supplementing... It's, it's all about travel time is my theory and supplementing the actual physical distance with um, barriers that ultimately are much harder to uh, to bypass. So to do that, what I'd like to do first is I'd like to start out by getting an extra door placed over here. And I'm going to do a reinforced door here if I can. Let me see. Was it, let, let me do it. I think it's because the fan is in the way, which is kind of... Yeah, I mean, I could have saw that coming. Um, so I probably won't be able to do it here. So what I could do maybe is just putting a big old reinforced door here. Just because, right? Just to see if I can. So we'll do that first. Big old huge reinforced door, okay? The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to also make a secondary door here if I can. And the cool thing about this little idea is I think it'll get them in the door further towards the fan. It'll kind of kick them further this way if I can. So what I want to do is if I can place a wall here and here, and it doesn't disrupt anything else, doesn't look like it invalidates anything else, and then if I could place yet another door. Ooh, it doesn't let me do two doors like that. Okay, it's not going to let me do that, but you know what? It's fine. This is, uh, this is kind of whatever. We'll make it work. I think the other thing I want to do also, let's just put like a couple of bubbles here just because whatever. Maybe they're going to make them weightless through this. Let's see what happens. Um, but the other thing is, is to make this door take a long time to pass through. Okay. So this door's going in long time to get through that. This door's going in long time to get through that. And by doing that, there's two big doors that are obstructing their path, right? That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So make it, make it all level three. Okay, now the next thing is, this, again, I don't know if this is going to work. It's all about trial and error, really. This is this is how we learn, right? I'm going to move the back rat tables and stuff and kind of, um, you know, maybe put it here. And I might change how this casino is organized, too. This big open floor plan is, is nice, but it's, I don't know, like, I feel like maybe smaller rooms and maybe I, I don't really want to do the whole maze idea, but I really, I get how effective it is. I just don't kind of want to do that. But um, I might do a little bit of it just to kind of give this place a bit more character. Uh, but what I'd also like to do here is make a valet-only area right here. I think I think we could pull that off. And so what I'd like to do also is take this uh, casino pillars and kind of just move them out of the way for a second. And if we put walls, let's say like this and like let's say this, okay? So we get a room that's about this big, right? And we say, okay, room that's this big. <laughs> we are going to put in a door. Maybe all the way over here. Uh, on this side? No, I think this side is fine. We put the door right here. And instead of, like, we could just put a regular old casino door here, honestly. You know? And then inside this room, it's no longer going to be a, for a casino. So we'll take this piano... And we'll put it, like, maybe over here, you know? And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to make this area. If I can get this pillar. Uh, you know what? Let's just put it here. And then this pillar can go, like, over here. 
we're gonna make this area a place for a, like a barracks and um, you know, a place for our uh, valets to hang out because we now have, and this is sort of what's giving me the idea for this, we now have a refreshment bar. And the refreshment bar partially restores smarts and vitality, but it's preferred by your deception minions. So I think this is going to not only create a room that's easier to access for the valets, but it's also going to encourage them to come into here because they prefer this. So if I make this a mess hall, for example, maybe make it all the way down like this and make this whole area right here a mess hall. And uh, we can also do casino like, let's say like that. Um, trying to f well, this isn't going to be a casino later anyway. We're going to change this. This is going to end up being a barracks, right? Like this. Okay. And we'll just move this potted plant out here for now. Okay. So we make the barracks, sorry, the mess hall, and we're going to use refreshment bars to kind of entice them to hang out in here instead, right? And I feel like I should get three in here. Yes. Like that. Perfect. All right, let's move this pillar out of here. We don't need it. Uh, we'll put it uh, over, I don't know. I just get rid of these things. I just want to look at them for a second. All right, and then inside here, right, they need their rest. So inside here, we're going to just place a bunch of uh, beds. And this is just a place for the valets to hang out and uh, recuperate their, their smarts, vitality, or morale, all that stuff, right? Um, we're also going to place some stuff for like the decoration stuff that helps out. We're going to place some of that stuff too, but mostly this is purely for the valets, right? So it's a valet area. That's what I'd like to do. So um, I'm going to move this plant back over there near that. And actually, you know, probably not a plant there. Why don't we, instead of placing a plant there, we can go ahead and place some of these decor items that actually matter, like air conditioning units and things. Um, so we can place, uh, I think we'll place one here outside the door so as they walk through the door they'll get exposed to it right um we could place another one actually right where that plant is would be nice we'll place another one uh sort of like this and then uh i think we do we go with like um some drinking fountains and if we place place one here i think i'll cover both well not quite but i can place place one here and here and it'll cover like this whole area Maybe I'll just do that just to kind of help out with just everything. Okay. <laughs> um, none of this stuff is needed. None of this stuff is needed. Aloe plants cost a hundred bucks for this plant, but it doesn't do anything. Nice. Okay. So we're starting to get, Ooh, Ooh, look at this thing. Yeah, it's pretty fancy, huh? Oh, come on. Absolutely. This thing is awesome. We're going to put some, we're going to put a big old tree right behind this. That's good. All right, so I know this is kind of cluttered. I'll probably clean it up later, but this is my theory here. While they're building that, let me take a quick look at what's going on with the once and future thing. Raise Excalibur out of the stone. Okay, so we went into the map. We got Excalibur out of here. We have no schemes running here, and there's a little bit of heat buildup. Why don't we send a couple of minions out to take care of that heat? We got some time on this one too. Why don't we send a couple of minions out to handle that heat? And this one is not that progressed. We might be able to do an actual scheme with this. 45 heat build up. I think we have, we can do that. Let's um, send three scientists out to do that one. And this one here has got heat build up. We'll send a couple of workers out to deal with that one. And this one, you just kind of, sometimes you got to come to the map and just take care of business. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to do that. This one's got a massive one. Oh, you know what actually might be worth it? Because this has got a little too much heat buildup to do that. But I feel like if I pay for it, this will disappear, right? That's my only problem. I'm going to, should I risk it? 10,000 bucks for the sake of making 305? Or do I just wait? I could just wait. I'm just going to wait. Whatever. I mean, I'm earning passive income from it anyway. And it builds heat, and I'm trying to, like, control that heat, right? What's up, Blue Saint? You jerk. You're going to lock this region down like a jerk. What he's going to do? Um, You know what? We can just do a little one here. It's fine. All right. So we could take care of a couple of schemes. You know, we're still going to have a lot of blinking lights everywhere. Maybe I could just 
Some of these I'd just rather pay for. Some of these regions are super cheap. This one's only half up. Yeah, I'd rather just... Ooh, we get five valets for this. The thing is, we're really close to our maximum worker count anyway. 300 capacity is the most you can have, as far as I can tell. So, I mean, am I really getting five valets? I don't think I need five valets. I think I'm good on valets, honestly. Although, I am sending valets to remove heat, so... Maybe I'm not as good on valets as I think I am. I think we're going to just send send some workers out to get that done, and then I'll send... Uh, I'll just let that one go for the time being. This region's done. This one's good. Oh, look at this. Unguarded. Yep. Unguarded. Nifty. Uh, and then this one here is also a bit unguarded at the moment. Lovely. It's got a little bit of time left. Yeah, we got time to send minions to this. Go ahead. So we'll send a bunch of workers out to a lot of these. Because they have time to get there. It's it kind of... It's, you know, I'm, I've been back and forth, you know about whether or not it's best to pay for it or whatever. And I think it just comes down to whether or not you as a player want to deal with it. I think it's kind of it. You know, if you don't want to deal with it, then don't, you know. I'm going to leave those regions alone. But this uh, raise Excalibur out of the stone thing. Where is Excalibur? I wonder where it is. Did it go into my vault? Ooh, clicked the wrong one here. Where is it right here? Clearly, your incompetent minions don't understand the simple act of pulling a sword from a stone. Get involved personally and show them how it's all done. Personally. Okay, so this is something for the genius to do? Possibly? Yes. Get on with it. She said yes. Um, I don't think I have enough room in my vaults, though, for a sword. It's not going to go in there. Like, maybe it fits in here, but I feel like the sword's probably on this grandiose platform, right? I mean, it's, it's King Arthur. It's Merlin, right? Hmm. I don't know, man. Where would it go? Maybe if I clear out a spot. Like, if I sell this, sell a couple of these things to make room. Maybe it can go here. Actually, wait a minute. What if, okay, this tab is actually active now, and we have the sword in the stone. Okay. Our network has too much heat and has rocked down. So that's not entirely obvious, but okay. Actually, you know what I think I want to do? This maple syrup dispenser is here. I kind of want to put this in her office. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in her office because... I, don't know, I feel like Emma is the kind of lady that would just really appreciate having a maple syrup dispenser, you know, located close by. So what we can do is we can move her impressive desk to be slightly more centered. And then uh, I think I'm going to pop this maple syrup dispenser right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but Excalibur is in there too. And how big is this? How big is this? Ooh. Okay. So it's like a 4x4 four four kind of thing. All right. Well, um, in the vault, the then. Has been triggered. That's where we'd have to put it. We'd have to put it right here. All right. That's where we'll put it, then. Um, as close as we can there. Okay. And then uh, we'll confirm that. And then I want to go ahead and maybe get another rack for gold. Oh, this will fit. Nice. Then I can't put... Oh. Yes, I can. I can put one right there, too. All right, we'll put a gold rack right, right there. And it looks like it's going to let me put one like this, too. It kind of interferes with the whole look of the sword and the stone. But it gives me my racks back, so I'm going to put it in there. All right. So we're going to put Excalibur inside that... Uh, <laughs> inside there. Perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and get to the fourth floor. We're seeing traps triggered. Kind of catching our valet a little bit off guard. Now she's deserting. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Well, you're going to set off the traps then, so good luck with that. Yeah, capture her, please. Well, she's dead now. That's all, that's all it took. She would have died anyway, honestly, I think. 
I think she would have been down anyway. But the hope is that with all these amenities here, see, see, this is, I think this is not realistic. I would really like to have it to where if this stuff is really hard to access, they should prefer to come in here instead, right? That's what I was hoping for. But this room actually looks like it's going to increase traffic, which is what I was afraid of. I was really concerned about this increasing tra traffic to this it. area because of that. And so now I'm thinking that that is the case. I'm thinking that they are going to use this more often. And maybe this will work itself out because the minions themselves did get... Well, maybe they... I mean, they have to work this bar, right? I don't know. Or maybe there just has to be capacity in competing rooms. So, like, without having enough space to eat in other places... There is quite a few desks and chairs open here. Whole bunch of beds open there. I don't know. Head down to the... Uh, where's the prison area? It's floor number three, right? Yeah. Head down to this. We got the muscles right here, right? So... Where, oh where, get you back on that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to remove these. I think I'm going to remove these. I kind of like the, I like the chairs better. I don't know. And they just, I don't know, they just seem more fitting for the job. Plus, I don't really need any more. I think two chairs is enough, as is. Yeah, just fill this in like that. And, and actually, you know, let's make this a corridor really quick. Um, and then what we can do, possibly, is put a couple of fire extinguishers here. But maybe we decorate this place, too. Days without incident. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going we're gonna to tell these guys that we've had five days without incident. <laughs> has right. Um, how about over here? Intel. Why don't we put something over here, too? We could put, like, a corridor space. Kind of like this. Make this corridor, and then make this a corridor, too. That looks nice and clean. Kind of, you know? We could put a fire extinguisher in. We could put a... Uh, uh, how about this one of these monitors? Yeah. And then maybe we get... Uh, one of these air conditioners in over here so like they can help on their passing like this as people pass by them right helping with morale drain um, and then p potentially we can help with and there's something else we could do with it is there nothing that helps with like skills or smarts or anything like that doesn't look like it maybe we just put a guard post right here you say, hey guards, you you just stay here. You know, we put make make sure guards are standing throughout the halls all the time or something. That would look cool. It'd look official. It would also cut down, I think, on the number of guards that are just wandering my trap hallways. That's one way to take care of it. Actually, we just make sure that they are on posts. We could do it over here too. We could say, hey, you know, guards should really be in this area, just helping, like making sure scientists and stuff are safe. Maybe not here. That looks a little weird. You could put it here instead. That would look better. You could do both. I don't really think I'm opposed to both. But having fire extinguishers close by would be good too. So. Make sure fire extinguishers are here. Um, and then, you know, guarding this... Um, guarding the vault is an important job as well, isn't it? You know, we want to make sure people are here, ready to go. Ready to respond at a moment's notice. And I think... Uh, Oh boy, this is gonna do this to me, isn't it? Yep. Um, uh, you know, let's see. You know what? This vault can go. That door can go. Let me get the room type right first. Uh, it's hard to tell what I'm doing. Am I making it? Am I making it corridor, or am I not making it corridor? Right, hold on. What is this normally? This is a barracks, right? There we go. That was the mistake. This, these two were getting flip flopped. Oh my God! It's in there. That looks cool. Okay, hang on. We gotta get. We gotta get the genius down in here. Um, genius, come on yes. down in here. All part of the plan. And then uh, we need to get. A, I think a laser door here instead, right? Yeah, for sure. And then we'll put a guard post there. 
For sh yeah, this is this is better. This is good. Won't let me put a uh, fire extinguisher here, which I probably should have, but we've got uh, we've got quite a few of them. We could do it over here too. Make this like a little corridor. Yeah, and then this corridor can have a camera facing this direction, and also fire extinguisher there, and a guard post uh, over here like this. Just watching over the place, you know? Got to keep people around. All right, dude, Excalibur's in here. Wait, is he trying to lift it? Hey, dude, I thought I was supposed to do this. I'm, I thought Emma was supposed to do this. Isn't she the genius? Although, if, honestly, the if he can't do it... The has the of well, it, it was magic, right? Excalibur was like a magic thing. It was only those who were worthy could, could lift it, right? You would not be defeated if you could lift that. That kind of thing. I'm really hoping this cuts down traffic. I want to see this area being empty a majority of the time. But I'm noticing that these guys are, are repairing item. Okay, so they're, I, I'm hoping that this works itself out. All right. Over time, I'm hoping this works itself. Deception! Oh, this is how you do this. Yes, you place this as deception only, right? Am I only people who are deception can use it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the guards won't be out here. And then they get to go. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, that's what I want. Now the beds are a problem, though. The beds are going to be a problem. Because they might come out here to sleep. I hope not, though. Again, I made it more difficult to get here. Has succeeded. So I'm kind of hoping they don't do that. But we'll see. We'll see how it works. We got uh, a couple of guys here coming into the casino. Look at those freaking palm trees. Oh, I'm liking it. All right, what's going on with uh, Excalibur here? Why is it not... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Time Genius. That won't work. Go ahead and do it. Oh, raise. Here it is. Weird. I have to click that? What? Now, what were you thinking? Huh? All right. It's not immediately clear on what there to do here, but all right. Reason. For this. Um, I cannot do that. Yeah, you're getting a phone call. We have uh, intruders upstairs. Really? Uh, can you idiots handle this? Yes? Okay, that's what I thought. Bye. Okay, where is it? Uh, so, what I'm again, I'm hoping that this takes care driven. of the traffic through here. Like, a lot of traffic through here. So, we'll see what happens. So, this guy's skill, he's still average. I think the average people, sometimes they get hit and sometimes they don't. Kind of thing. Average do-gooder. I want to see him turn into a doofus. Come on, fan. Come on, fan. You know what? Hold on. Can we... Mark for terminate. See that minion. Get him, get him, get him. Fan, fan, him. fan. Oh, it didn't do it. Leave that minion alone. It didn't do it. Damn. It worked before, though. That was nice when it did. We got one of them. That's cool. We got one of them. All right. These guys are going around. Unfortunate. But now they're going to get caught into this. And uh, that guy got hit. Nice. This works now. I moved it out one. I don't know. Is the traffic cut down? was an ancient and powerful magical sword to hold as a symbol over Hammer's head. So why is it now shooting fire in my base? Is shooting fire? That's not a thing swords normally do. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Merlin, what did, you, what did you do? We didn't know it to do that, boss. We think whatever wizard put it in that stone probably cursed it. Oh. Wizards. Magic. The ancient world is arrogant to think they can cast such a shadow on the future. The future? That's it. We can't beat this thing with magic, but against science, it will be no match. Are you talking about time travel? What? Can we have a time machine in this? I want a time machine. Uh, fan. Let's get the uh, henchman out of there. Over and out. Henchman is in the way. There it is. And got him. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. And she's kind of caught in this. She's trying to head the other direction. 
Slippery floor, possibly. Uh, are these guys uh, still the average do-gooder, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one here is... Uh, they're very skilled, you know? Has been we need to do better reducing their skills here. So I, I think I really do want to take a look at the casino and see if there's a way I can maybe optimize a little bit better to generate more attention to the tables. We don't have really enough valets. We don't have it like, you know, I've been told I have too many valets before, but like, look at empty tables. They're not working, right? If I had too many valets, then that would mean that I have extras and all the tables are manned and that's not the case. So I, I need to figure that out too. And then we have the social lights, which are talking to the tourists. A scheme has succeeded. Yeah. Film buff. Also sees dead people. Nice. I don't know. Is it, is it working? These guys are tending to come in here now, right? They're more, much more likely to come in here than they are to be back here now. So that might be working. When you have the refreshment bar and you can isolate it to just deception, I think that's the point where that works. And then, uh, of course, all these agents, as soon as they walk into this area, they're going to get marked to... Uh, deceive, and I'd like to get the research going a little bit more <laughs> about getting them automatically marked for capture, too. That'd be nice. All right, steal the acid on the world stage. I'm seeing the the task that it's asking me. Is that going to be near the UK as well? Should be in this area. Right here, steal the acid. 75 heat build. Over what time? 30 seconds. Okay, it's very fast, but that is enough to get this region to max out. Um, we do have somebody already here reducing the heat. So I think I'm gonna let that play out a little bit. And then this region here, we're at what, 63% in our vault right now? I don't think I really care about doing schemes in level one regions. I'm gonna let them go. I'll do the schemes if they're really, if they're gonna pay really well, but I think dedicating personnel to- has been triggered level one schemes right now is not really necessarily in my interest uh what i will say though is we have one up here and there's one in here that uh well i was hoping for like one of the little green ones the green ones are really good this one's okay it does give us money it's just it takes a lot of people to get that money but we could do it it's fine it's an it's a region that doesn't have any heat build up you know um, this one's got quite a bit of heat. I think I'll just pay this. Uh, 76. We've got time. I really want to do this one. These, the green ones are so good. But I, I feel like if I pay this, I won't be able to do this. I think it'll go away, right? Yeah. And then you have to wait for it to respawn. So if it respawns, then you can do it. But you have to wait for that. So I will. Uh, let me also, real quick, let me just check and see how we're doing against these agents. Agents, agents. Yep, they're mar they're being marked to take away now. They'll be brought right back out to the casino now. But they have some suspicion, right? No? No, no suspicion at all. Perfect. So we'll send them out there. I mean, I don't know how you can't be suspicious with this going on. We have blinking lights and everything in here. How can you not be suspicious? You have to be pretty dense to not be suspicious. Yeah, so I think it's the beds. I think the beds are uh, are causing this plan to not work as well. Because they need... Let's see, what is this... It takes uh, smarts and vitality. This restores morale and vitality. So if their morale... Hmm... If there's a way to prevent, to increase their morale without them having to sleep, I wouldn't need to have the beds. Or I just have fewer beds. And more, hmm, let's try fewer beds. Then there's less of a reason to come out this way, right? So maybe we just have this many beds and the rest of this area can be... What I'm really hoping for, if you couldn't tell, is to find a way to where valets just stay over here and they don't move. They don't, uh... You know, I want them to just stay out this way and not come in the back. They don't need, like a valet never needs to be back here for any reason ever. 
unless they're going to the world stage. That's it. It's the only reason to ever put a valet out this in this area is to send them to the helicopter pad. So I'd like them to stay over here. And so I'm trying to find a way to keep them here uh, so they can restore their stats out this way. And this is going to help their smarts. So you can see that. So I think I'll just do that. And we'll see. Maybe we don't even maybe we don't even do any beds at all. Um, but I, another thing I think I could do is we give them like things like the drinking fountain in here. So as they walk around here, we slow the deterioration of their smarts, that kind of thing, right? Um, it doesn't really help. It's kind of in a weird spot. Um, we could put it here. Yeah, that will help a little bit, I guess. Um, we can put another one. Let's say back here. That blocks that though, unfortunately. So. Can we put it over here? Like that? Nope. I really wish there was wall decorations. Like things that you mount on the wall that would do this. That would do the same effects as what these do. That would be nice. Maybe we'll do a barracks one here. An air conditioner right here. Something like that. That will help their that will decrease Something their morale loss either the minions or the training room while they're out there so these guys are marked to to distract i'm gonna Effective take that away if you spot that intruder and see the socialite does that is he reducing his skill at all or his resolve at all by talking to him training yes sold. both very cool very cool. Socialites are really nice. Okay, awesome. All right, so kind of got that figured out. Let's get the let's get the acid. Oh, this is done. Okay, hold on. Before the before this. Oh, is he in this region? No. Before this uh, gets too high, we want to do that one, right? Because it's a lot of freaking money. And no scheme going on here, but I could do this one. That will just max my bank out, honestly. I might as well. That's just totally going to max my bank out. My vault, whatever you want to call it. Um, yep, this. We're going to do this now, too. Mm, yeah, it's only 30 seconds. So it'll it'll do it really quickly. There won't be a whole lot of time for it to build up um, in addition to that. So we're going to do that one, too. All right. And then uh, no scheme running here. No big deal. Uh, no scheme running there. No scheme running there. You have symmetry in this. I'm trying to decide, like, whether I'm taking symmetry out or not. And when, too. You know? Because I think there's these uh, these side stories. If you go to, like, Demolition Woman, you do this, you can maybe defeat her through their own side story quest lines, I think is how it works. So, if I was to take part in those quest lines, uh, I think I can remove them entirely. But what I'm not sure about is whether I can do that uh, before the next tier is unlocked or certain progress with the the rest of the game, right? Like, how far into the game do I have to be A before that's possible? And I don't know. I have enough guards to just do it. And actually, looking at my minion distribution, right now we have about 100 guards. That is one-third of our workforce. We have... 32 valets and 5 socialites. I'm going to bump that up to 10. Uh, that's going to be just over, what, it's like 13%, 12% of our workforce there. Um, and then we have uh, 35 technicians, which I think is enough. And 28 scientists, which I think we should go a little bit higher on that. Um, because I can take my stations here and put them in scientist mode. And then they're going to generate intel more efficiently than they will with regular minions, and it frees up the regular minions to do things too. Something is wrong with either the minions or the training So I'm gonna mark those, at least those three for scientists. And that'll give scientists something to do when they don't have a research project, because right now they don't have a research project. I kind of already have all of the research done, right? Yeah, I'm all researched out, so yeah. I don't know, I, I probably mentioned that in a previous video, I just spent a couple of days since I played, so I did. I forgot. I've been working on surviving Mars. Training. Working on prison architect. 
Got to get those two things moving, too. I, I've been so into this game, man. But at the end of the day, I still got some other projects that I started before this. So I kind of want to get that done, too. Yeah, you're still an average do-gooder, huh? Do you feel average? You got basically no skill now. How average do you feel? You know, if I'm not going to do... I don't need this. Right? I don't need that. But what I could do, just because, is put a fire extinguisher there. And he's not getting hit, but... But he is getting hit. A trap yeah. has been triggered. Uh, you walk that way, I think you're toast there, buddy. Have fun, though. Boing. <laughs> boing. boing. <laughs> Love it. Send him back into play, man. So if he somehow bypasses this trap, he's like, nah, I'm not going down that hallway. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> Love it. All right, these need to be set back to deception and deception. And that would be all five of these on deception. So unless they want to sleep in this bed, there's really no reason for these guys to ever be in the hallway um, technicians is a little bit different, right? Is wrong with either because they have to the fix things and boss. tend to their durability and all that stuff. But good news is at least the technicians have... What's this? Technicians have 100 health. Uh, Hammer has sent their agents valiantly charging in to reclaim the sword from you. Unhorse these galloping knights. Defeat the agents in the lair. I guess we stole the, the acid already. All right, so hammer sending knights after me. Please, please be on horseback. Please charge into my casino on horseback. I beg you. Oh, you know what else I should do? Let's change these doors to the reinforced ones. Um, the ones that are for my power su supply, my power systems. I think I'm going to change those to the reinforced doors. Just to, you know, in case. it's uh, I think it's a good thing to, to do. This is going to stay wide open, but... Like, whatever. It is what it is. And then on this side, we've got um, our multiple vaults, right? Two vaults set up. And then there's just needs to be doors here. So we'll get rid of this door. We'll get rid of this door. We'll replace it with this heavy door. And we'll replace it with this heavy door. And then I think maybe this vault will have, like... Uh, maybe two laser doors. I don't know. You do not have enough power to sustain this build order. I don't. I don't have enough power. Wow. It's a big old wowzers. Allow me to retort. These aren't going to be lined up. That might annoy some people. Um. Yeah. I wish I could cut into that, but I can't. Here, I'll just put this like this. That should provide me with the power. I mean, I did remove space for this new dedicated power facility and turned it into a vault instead. We did kind of do that, so. Yeah, okay, sure. See, I think this casino's not busy enough. I want more people here. But now I'm noticing you know, I'm not really noticing any decrease in traffic. The socialites and stuff are still heading back this way. And, like, what are they heading for? Teaching. Oh, right. Training. Sleeping. Okay, he wants to sleep, but why not sleep here? It takes so much longer to get to a bed this way. Why not sleep here, where there's clearly available bunks? A criminal yeah, I don't think it's working. Too much heat and has locked down. As much as I want that to work, I don't think it's going to work. Because I got level 3 doors. And it don't seem to matter, man. Big old heavy door here, too. Yeah. Shit, man. Uh, here we go. Rocking and rolling. Uh, let's set... Uh, let's set all of these to scientists, honestly. We get intel a lot faster if just they're all just scientists. Um, let's head back down this way. And... The heat at a criminal network has attracted the forces of justice. I mean, we're just getting lots of 
Lots of networks shutting down constantly. Let's get another chair. And that's good. I'm content with the way the base is. I mean, I want to go down, of course, but I can't do anything else, really, until we can dig into this harder rock. So I'm just going to, yeah, just keep playing the game, try to do as much in the quest as I possibly can. I'm waiting for the knights from Hammer. Has succeeded. You're from Hammer. Are you the knight? Wait, are they sending me gullible fools? Aw, they're sending me gullible fools. How much distraction are they getting? I think we're doing all right with this. If we had people manning these tables, she would have been caught in that. But look at this. Like, their resolve is going down, at least. Skill was dropping. We just need some people to... Yeah, yeah. Man the tables, right? Reduce the skill to, like, nothing. I like that. Now these guys are going to check out this, too. I guess, if, if nothing else, it does delay these guys a little bit longer. They can come here and be like, oh, okay, it's just a staff room. Okay, no big deal. Yeah, big deal. All right, cool. A trap has been triggered. <laughs> um, now, the only... I think there's a problem with this, because if it kills them for some reason, then we have bodies right at the beginning, and that's going to give them evidence right at the beginning. I think instead of doing that... Um, I might put this here, or I could put it, um, I already have them there. I could put them here just in case they don't trip the fan. I'm going to move them there. A trap has been triggered. Because I think it's, I think it's too risky to put dead bodies really close to the door like that. There's no need to do that. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. I think he got one of my minions caught in that. But these guys are totally toast anyway. I, I don't even have to defeat them in the lair. They're just going to die. Yeah, she just got hit by that and then totally screwed. Yeah, yeah, totally screwed. That works well. All right, now what's happening? What's this? Oh. Anvil sent soldiers? Anvil sent soldiers. Wow. Do you see that intruder? Anvil sent soldiers into my... And they came into my freaking valet center. Are you sure you have the storage? Wow. All right, well, yeah, guards, get out there. Do your thing. Hurry up. Guys, go through the door. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. We're sending in the army. Go and get them. We're going to capture those fools. That's not even the knights. Like, they sent knights after you. No, that's not them. This is Hammer. Those guys are Anvil. So this is kind of a whatever situation. Do not do this. I tried to turn it off. Can I turn this off? A criminal network has two now turn it on. <laughs> okay. There. Now it'll kill him. So that's going to complete the story. Now we just have to take care of all these bodies, which I think these guys will help us with, so that's good. Task complete. Apply the ingenuity of the modern world to the mystic mysticism, mysticism of the ancient one. With freshly applied acid eating away at the stone, pull the sword free at last. Okay. Okay. Uh, what here we go. Next steps? Raise Excalibur again. <laughs> What were you thinking? Raise Excalibur again. In the most unflattering of place. Come on. Chop, chop. Let's go. Get down in here. We are totally going to brainwash those soldiers and get more mercenaries out of that. Oh, yeah. Train up the soldiers, man. There we go. Do mercenaries have any additional... I want to say skills. Like, do they do they have more health or anything? I, I haven't really noticed. Let me see. So, the difference between... You're 50-50-50. And you are... 50-50-50. I'm not sure what the real big deal is with you guys. Do you do... 
Do you guys do like more damage when you punch or Task you shoot? I don't really say. Collect the reward. Good. Optional objective done as well. Ah, here we go. A moment's calm. You guys ready? Please unlock the new tier of stuff, please. Probably won't. We're gonna get 10 workers for this and I actually need about 10 workers, so okay. The stage is set. Now, we only need our leading player, the Venom device. What are our orders, ma'am? Scour the world for the parts I need and bring them here. It's time for us to build. And then you'll destroy the world? Oh, I won't need to. It'll do that all by itself. So diabolical, man. So despicable. <laughs> all right, hang on. So new parts to secure the venom parts from the world. Some assembly required. Okay. And we're still not far enough to get the next tier of research. Damn, that takes a while, doesn't it? Okay, well, we have to secure the venom parts. I'm sure they're around the world somewhere. Seen a whole bunch of big old icons like this. So, yeah, there's 10 parts right here. We'll go ahead and launch that one. It's going to take some scientists and workers. Looks like we got... Uh, no, that's for Ebola. Uh, we got the, this one here. Let's see if we can maybe get the heat to be reduced here. Send a scheme out that way. We got you guys hanging out there. No thanks. Any other things here? No parts from what I can tell. Let's send a worker out to reduce the heat there. So we got uh, no parts there either. What's this? Nope, John Steele. Okay, what about parts? Venom parts. The Venom Project. This is a lot of heat. I think I'm just gonna pay for this one. I got time. They got time to get there. We'll give you some uh, some valets for that. And this is a major, major scheme happening there already. I'm making a shit ton of money, so I, could, I can afford to spend some money reducing heat because I am making a ton of money. Same thing with Intel. I think we'll spend it on this one. Um, this one, because it's really high up. So we'll just get that down now. This region here, I don't see any venom parts. Maybe they're up here. Cool running. Oh, God, I love it. Uh, you're going to make a bobsled team here, huh, maybe? 25,000 gold it cost. Damn. 25 heat build up, too, which we can afford. So we'll go ahead and run that. There's my making a lot of money right there. So we'll, we'll do these, get a, as many Venom parts as we can, run it on the map, and then... Maybe once we have the assembly Scheme done, maybe that's when we can, uh, you know, get ourselves the next tier of research. I don't know. What about these guards? Did we capture them? There we go. You guys are going to be mercenaries for me. I hope you're ready to do that. And I hope you guys are ready too. Um, well, not really. Ready for the end of the video, which you're probably not, but I'm gonna have to do it here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Please like the video if you like it. You can, I guess, dislike it like some of the cool kids are doing today. You can do that too, I guess, if you want to. And I hope to see you uh, next time. Bye-bye.